Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will discuss about APM version 7 to version 8 migration. Okay, so what it is actually. So we all know that one of the stable version of the APM is 7.6.0 or the lower version. Most of us we are using the that APM version 7 version. APM version 7 Java client jars actually. If I'm this is the Maven repository. Here you can see that these are the jars available in for Java client actually. Most of us are using still the version 7 okay because they are releasing the version 7 for last 3-4 years actually so now from last year onwards they have from November onwards actually so APM start releasing the version 8 first they release the beta then they release the beta 2 then this year from this year March they release first release the stable version okay so actually what happened why uh, what happened when they release the version 8 actually so as we all know that the much weighted selenium 4 has been released on september 2021 so with a bunch of new feature along with they remove the support for the legacy protocol jsonware protocol and using the w3c web driver standard by default under the hood okay since the apm has been working to get the seamless experience of selenium 4 in the beta version of the apm clients they were updated were updated by upgrading the selenium dependency but there was a lot of technical glitches and issues were there so now they have released the stable version means that they have fixes those bugs still there are some bugs that are still there i hope that they will fix those things also soon okay very soon so this is the official document of apm where they have mentioned the this is the official document for version 7 to version 8 migration actually they are mentioning this one as a guide actually okay so what they are mentioning that the first point is that strict w3c specification compatibility okay what they are mentioning that that java client supports now supports selenium 4 and uh, old jsonware protocol based servers are not supported anymore and it won't be possible to use new client version with them okay so it means that you have to download the new apm server okay and you have to install the new APM server if you are going to use the APM Java client version 8 okay Java client uh, jar version 8.0 onwards okay you have to download the new APM server which support the W3C protocol actually okay and the second thing is that they are recommending to change the use of capabilities desired capabilities to create the driver earlier the way we were creating so now they are mentioning that they clearly mentioned that don't use desired capabilities class for this purpose in w3 con c w3c context okay they are telling people to use the base option class instead of desired capabilities okay they have given some example also okay so today i will show you what kind of error we will get or warning we will get if we are going to use the desired capability with the version 8 or how to use that desired capabilities also and how to use this base option class also okay let's go to the code okay so if you guys can see that okay let's um, comment out these capabilities i'm just uncommenting this one so what it is so this is the this is our normal old way to write the capabilities okay to set the capabilities okay and in the form i can show you guys that i'm using the java client version 8 8.1.0 this is the latest one last month they have released this one okay so and this is the thing okay let's try to run this code and see what will happen So you guys can see that there is a lot of warnings are present in the console, but code is still running. Okay. So what they are saying that warning support for legacy capabilities is deprecated. You are sending device name, which is an invalid capability. Please update to, okay, code is running. Okay. App has been launched. They have clicked also. Okay. Cool. 
and please update to W3C syntax and they are providing some Selenium documentation. Okay, it means that they are whatever I have told you. So same thing they are mentioning in the console. So this is as a warning they are giving. I hope very soon they will stop giving this support for this one also. As of now they are giving support for the this thing, uh, this using of this old way to desired use of desired capabilities or write the capabilities. But very soon they will stop support this one also as they have already deprecated these classes. So most of us in our automation code we have used these things okay so how you will you have to change what is the way to change actually there is two way at one point they have already mentioned in their documentation i have already told you that use they are they are uh, suggesting to use recommending actually to use the base option class but there is also a, a, a way to use of capability how to use the capabilities and without getting any warning just use apm colon this text before the capability name okay but don't use this this one this text for platform name okay just use for this one other capabilities okay i'm saving i'm trying to run this code let's see what will happen Okay, you guys can see that there is no warning, no error. Code is still running. So in between I can say, uh, I can told you that using this text actually, okay, app has been launched. Using this text actually, we are telling to the server that these are the APM capabilities. Please run these things. Use, don't give any warning, okay? So they are understanding that okay, this capability it can be run okay in the server. And this is one way you guys can use. And another way is that that the recommended way from the APM team actually that is use of base option class. So I am going to use UI automator as you guys can see that already as an automation name I have written UI automator too. That's why I am giving an example of UI Automator 2. So there is a class they have introduced that UI Automator 2 options. Okay. When you are creating the object for this option. Okay. Just after creating, just give the dot control space and eclipse or here you will automatically get, they will show whatever the methods are available. All methods or you can just write set you will get the set methods all set methods means that those are the capabilities actually okay app the same thing whatever the same thing we have used for as a app the capability name we are going we used we have used in our for when we use the desired capability same thing here is available here also you guys can see that i have used platform set platform name as android set device name set app package set app activity set unlock key unlock key is that the method to unlock the uh, device actually if the device is locked it will unlock the device set no reset true okay and i am passing the option here okay instead of capabilities so let's run this code to see that if it is running or not compilation finished there is no warning nothing is there code is still running app has been launched they will click on the app. okay fine now there is another very tricky thing is that usually what we are doing that not all of us some of us we use creating the android driver okay instead of creating the object of apm driver if i am trying to use this one or you are using this one in your automation code and you are using the apm version 8 the whatever the jar they have released for uh, java client
this error is coming you can see this our conversation in the apm discussion forum also about this error so to avoid this error just change object creation from android driver to apm driver it will work okay i have already run this code okay let's go to the documentation this is the documentation and also what they are mentioning that apm already removed the find by option they have introduced they are considering actually asking us to use apm by or by okay mobile by by class is also deprecated considering apm by instead okay all locators names in apm by has been aligned to the following common name strategy example mobile by dot accessibility id was ch changed to apm by dot accessibility id and the last point is that they changes the made in selenium for broke class name selector strategy in apm apm by dot class name should be used instead of selenium's by dot class name now okay same thing you guys can see that i am using apm by dot accessibility id so these are the very tricky thing actually as of now i have told you guys that to how to change the driver creation part okay now this is the part of the code base there are lot of things you guys can see that they have changed so many things actually okay the most important part is that touch action actually so i'll come later about these things in this video i'll going to discuss about only this how to use the desired capabilities okay or use the base option class and the apm by another very important thing is that they have mentioned that if so here in the example you guys can see that i am using ui automator two options if you are not sure which uh, automation you are you need actually no driver specific options so that on that time you can directly use base option okay you can use this one to create the driver okay so i have created one documentation also we for this one okay if you guys have any doubt or any question just do a comment on this video i will try to give the answer for this one i know that uh, once you will start migrating from version 2 to version 8 there will be lot of challenges you will face okay and i am trying to give uh, next video try to upload the next video as soon as possible with the update okay Thank you.